Morning guys, today we're going to cover some holster choices both for outside and inside the waistband and then we're also going to go over some of the benefits and detriments to ankle carry. So now you can see that I'm wearing what you would normally wear on a Colorado day. A little brisker out right now seeing as how it's negative eight, but still you can get away with a fairly light jacket. But you're also trying to conceal your firearm. How do you do that without getting bulked down? Well, my preference is an inside the waistband holster. And there's numerous places you can carry it. You can carry it right on the side at a three o'clock position. You can carry it slightly back at four o'clock, which I find easier for riding in a vehicle. Or the newest trend is what's called appendix carry, which is up front on the center line of your body. I tried this for a while and I actually found it has some serious benefits. One of which being it's against the flattest part of my body. So even though I'm carrying a full size Glock 19, it doesn't feel like I have anything in my way and something as simple as a thin lightweight jacket makes it disappear. So we'll go over the benefit of appendix carry in just a little bit. And then we'll go on to your standard outside the waistband carry and we'll go over the ankle. All right guys, so here's your typical appendix style carry. This is using an inside the waistband holster from Masters. It's not specifically made for appendix carry, but it definitely gets the job done. If you wanted to start getting serious with this, there are other holsters out there that are specifically made to carry it at this position, and it'll even carry it riding slightly higher and gives you more comfort when you're either sitting in a vehicle or sitting down. One of the real benefits that I found to appendix carry is since it's in the center line of my body, I can cover it very easily, and if someone does try and assault me, I have a much shorter time from reacting to getting the gun into my hand and getting it drawn. Also, if I get knocked down on my back, I can still get to my firearm. Or if someone's pinning me up against a wall and I can only get one hand free, I can still get to the gun. So, this could be a very viable carry option for a lot of you. And we have a number of different products here at DCF Guns that enable you to do so. All right guys, now we're gonna go over your typical outside the waistband style holster. Today, I'm using one of the Sportsters from Blackhawk. The thing that I do enjoy about this, unlike a lot of the leather versions that do an outside the waistband, is when I draw the gun and extend it out, when I go to come back, it's open and waiting for me. The only detriment to it is it does hang really far off the body. I can actually fit my arm between the firearm and my side. So when it comes to concealed carry options, you have to be really careful with how you use it. A lot of them will allow you to slide it around the back and put it on the flat of your body. That can make it better, but at that point, you might as well just go with an inside the waistband and it'll probably be more comfortable for you, especially getting in and out of a vehicle. So when it comes to an outside the waistband holster like this, something you want to check if you're going to use it for concealed carry is does your garment keep people from seeing what's going on? If I go into a grocery store and I extend my arm up like this, you can see the bottom of the holster. That can be a simple lifestyle change where you reach for stuff with your other hand, but it is something you need to be cognizant of. So if this looks like the right option for you, come on in. We'll find one that fits your firearm and find one that fits you. Now we're going to go over some of the benefits and detriments to ankle carry. Ankle carry is great if you can't have anything on your waist. If literally it's t-shirt and shorts weather, maybe you can't have something hanging off of a belt. Granted, if you're wearing shorts, it's not going to do anything for you as far as concealment goes, but certain things have to be adjusted for our lifestyle. Considerations when it comes to ankle carry, your clothing. If you're wearing tight fit jeans, you're not fitting on anything down on your ankle and then pulling those jeans over. Also, if it fits too tight, can you even get to the gun efficiently? If you have to sit there and fight trying to yank your pant leg up while someone's trying to assault you, might as well just go hand-to-hand -hand or edged weapon whatever you have at your disposal because your gun's completely out of the fight. So we'll go ahead and show you a couple options for getting a gun out when it comes to ankle carry and we'll also show you why it might not be the best all-around solution. All right so here we're in our typical getting your gun out of the ankle situation. Something has shown itself to be a threat. I've decided I want a gun in my hand. My gun's down on my ankle. Get the pant leg up come down onto the gun. If you have any kind of a snap on it, disengage it, pull it up and out, and use it. The only 
real detriment to this is I'm stuck in position. I can't go anywhere. So if this person happens to be really fast, I need to wager, can I get this thing out and get shots on target before he can reach me? Because I can't run away now. I've planted myself in one particular spot. Hopefully it's a more advantageous spot behind some concealment cover, but I'm still stuck before I can get my gun out and then start moving again. Other places have told people, oh, go ahead and just lift your leg up and get the gun out that way. I don't know about you. I don't stand well on one leg on the best circumstances. During an adrenaline rush with someone trying to kill me, that's not a time that I really want to try and get a gun out. So if you're going to look at ankle carry, find a gun that fits what you're going to carry it with clothing-wise. And also make sure that your holster allows you quick and efficient access to your firearm in a variety of different positions.